a number of years ago when I still had my square back, I decided to go grab one of these wheel pedals for the accelerator and uh, I liked it. It took a very little time to get used to it, uh, but I did like it, yet I knew as I was installing it that this skinny little piece of metal that was flopping side to side was not exactly a precision instrument. And uh, so many years later, I found this little dude online, classicbugparts.com, pistol wheel. And I immediately knew that this was the same thing, but much better. And so you can see that there's actually some design in this. And uh, I knew instantly that I would want it and that it would be far better than the predecessor. Uh, but if it had been up to me, I probably really would not have purchased one simply because it's a very finite resource, the money that gets to go into this car. And, um, and so I would have you know, spent it on other things. And yet uh, when my birthday came along, my kids asked me what I wanted and um, I gave them some ideas and uh, this was one of them and they decided to go with this, which I'm very excited about. So I'm gonna install this today and uh, give you an idea of what it takes to do it. It's a pretty straightforward process. The, the hardest part about it is just that you've got to, you know, pull all this stuff apart that, you know, seems like you shouldn't have to, but you got to pull the whole pedal assembly out to be able to, you know, get the pin out of the old one and, and put this in. And so I've got to, I've got to not only disconnect the throttle cable, but also the clutch cable. Throttle cable is easy. Clutch cable on a Type 3, a little bit harder, and I'll show you why. So you see that uh, clutch wing nut adjusting mechanism there? No, of course you don't. There's a reason why. Oh, there it is. You can kind of see it behind the tin there. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we can't get to it from here. Got to get to it from here. And there was a decision made to put a nut between the clutch fork extension, whatever you want to call it, and the wing nut for adjusting, which puts the wing nut into the nut that holds the engine to the transmission bell housing. So it's even harder to loosen this thing than it would have been. It's awesome. But the good news is I'm only gonna need to flip it about 500 times before the threads all come loose. Oh yeah, no problem. stark contrast, here is loosening of the throttle cable. All right, done. All right, time to remove the pedal assembly. A 17 millimeter right here. Probably tighter than I can. There we go. I'm trying to make sure I'm not in the shot, which makes some of your angles not as good. And then we got another one back here, which you're not going to see. This is where my son would probably remind me to be smarter. 
my father-in-law gave me this for Christmas, uh, a set with this and a couple other things. So when you're pulling this out, the position of your clutch pedal is important because this hook has to be able to fit down, fit out of this hole. And in this position, it sticks up and wants to grab. So you kind of have to pull it forward and then twist it out. And then we've got this little adjustment plate here. So here's your stock Type 3 pedal assembly, which I believe is essentially the same as the others, but um, I'm not 100% on that. So, obviously, clutch pedal here, this hook, your clutch cable just comes around that. Pretty standard, simple, obvious stuff. The brake, obviously, here's your actuator. But, you know, how does it return? It's this really simple deal here where this, this spring grabs this little deal here. Once we get it into position anyway, it does. And then the other side of that spring catches on the bottom of the pedal assembly here. So, bring this forward. And as I push that forward, the spring is going to kind of help bring it back. It's not as tight as it probably once was. <laughs> and then, of course, the throttle, really simple. You're pivoting here. You get your uh, S hook pushed through here. And it goes forward and it pulls the cable. This little wheel, which is kind of bunged up in my case, but this little wheel here. Rides on that. We've got the arc in here. Simple stuff. I'm going to clean this thing up, maybe put some paint on it. So we're a little bit better on the pedal assembly, but far from perfect. I may take a bastard file to it. Clean it up a little bit more. Probably throw some paint on it. The only thing that slows me down is there's a pin holding the clutch pedal on that is peened. And I don't really want to undo that and get into all that mess. If I had more time and I was going to put this in a sandblaster and do a really great job, yeah, I would go to that extra effort, but not today. Not right now. All right, the paint is mostly dry. So this is a really simple installation from my understanding. E clip and now put the pedal assembly back in the car hook up the cables I did also paint 
these which create the uh, I'm not even sure what it's called it goes on the arm of the clutch pedal and basically when there's more rubber here it smacks the body of the car there and keeps the pedal from hitting the, the body but I need a new one of those because this is almost gone and there it is in the basic position I'll uh, put it exactly where I want it once the pedal assembly is back in the car tighten it up good to go so we're gonna begin by pulling this clutch cable out here where we can access it more easily and get my little S clip, S bend, whatever throttle cable put into place. I'm happy with that. see uh, how much range we have so far all right let's see if this is better so I've now been driving this uh, pistol wheel pedal for several months and I've actually just completed a two-day trip with a couple of awesome buddies of mine uh, put another 490 miles on the odometer and so you know what do I think of the pistol wheel well it's exactly what I expected it would be it is a precision upgrade to the cheap stamped steel single piece option that I had when I was a kid and it just operates flawlessly all the time I couldn't be happier with it Anyone out there who's considering uh, a, a uh, accelerator wheel upgrade to their car, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, anyone who's been watching my videos, maybe watch this video, you're enjoying the content, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.